That is exactly what you are. It's awesome. Fair play. It's day six. Today we are going to talk about eating and getting an eating plan together. That sounds really weird. Get an eating plan together, but I eat every day. Part of a healthy lifestyle is putting good food into your body, okay? You put crap in, you get crap out, okay? It's just that thing. Junk food tastes so good, but it's so bad for you. Um, it's a treat every now and then, but it, it slows us down. It, you know, leaves toxins in the body and all this kind of stuff. It's, it's getting easier and easier to not eat healthy. And I often have this, this chat with people about food. And people say to me, a, a, a dear friend of mine said, but it's so expensive to eat healthy. It's actually not. It has become so cheap to eat crap. And, you know, we, we've been numbed. A lot of the food, this is a whole other podcast series. Um, but we, we've, been, we've, been, we've been got by the fast food companies, we've been got by the supermarkets, we've got, you know, cheap food, cheap food, cheap food. It's, it's, there's a cost along the, the way, be it supply chain, be it, you know, the farmers not getting what they're, okay, there's a huge problem. But for cheap food, there are consequences, okay? So I'm not saying you can afford or you have to buy the best of everything, but just be conscious of what you're buying in terms of food and what you're putting into your body. Sometimes it's better to go without, you know, a bit of meat and have, you know, vegetables and loads of, have, have a veggie day, but good quality veggies and what you can afford than you know, put, you know, putting crap meat in, into a, the mix. Anyway, whole other argument. I'm not going into what people should eat. I'm not going to tell you. That's, that's preachy and that, that's not what we're here to do. The, we all know what we're supposed to eat and it all depends on your body, your body type. Um, certain people can only eat certain things. You just need to find out what works for you. The biggest problem I find is not about you know, all of that stuff. It's about not wanting to cook or prepare food. So everyone has the same problem and there, there's a couple of ways to fix this. So the first one is do, do a mass cook every week or, you know, longer if you have the freezer space. So it's about planning. Don't go to the supermarket hungry or don't go to the place you buy your food hungry because you will buy more and you're more likely to buy crap. Okay, that's a given. Don't go without a list uh, because you will buy crap. That's a given. Um, you're more likely to fall to the bog offs, the buy one, get one, freeze and stuff that you never will use. All this kind of stuff. There's a psychology to shopping and these guys know uh, how to play the game. Okay, They want you to get in there and to spend all your money and throw food out and come back earlier than you should and all this kind of stuff. So to... to the batch cooking thing takes a little bit of patience and getting the right amounts and you still have to cook, but it saves a lot of time. Um, you know, get one large chicken, if you eat chicken, if you eat meat, and divvy it up. Don't be afraid to experiment. You know, divvy it up. You can get four or five meals in a good stock over chicken. Okay, it's all about planning and not being afraid of cooking. Okay, um, it saves so much time, energy and frustration and you don't have to think about it. You can go to the freezer or go to the fridge and grab this stuff out and bang, there you go. You can throw it in the microwave and throw it in the oven and you have a healthy meal. And quite often some of the, the fake aways and stuff like that can be quite nicer than the, you know, the, the takeaway versions and a lot cheaper. Now, the batch cooking thing is great as well because you're not gonna be hunting for snacks all the time. So if you buy some carrots, before you put them into the fridge or where you store them, actually chop them up into battens that when you go to the fridge with the munchies, which we all are guilty of doing, you have a lunchbox in the fridge of lovely carrots looking at you. And you, uh, the habit is there. You will go and you'll take the carrots, okay? Um, it's, it's, you know, you're not going to be hunting for snacks. You prepare your snacks, little bowls and nuts, all that kind of stuff lying around. It's all good. Um, now there's another there's another way and, and it, again it's it, there's no judgment here you you can do the pre-made things there's lots of companies out there that will actually deliver meals to your house um, it can be expensive but it depends on, on on I suppose lots of things like lifestyle work all that kind of stuff um, if, if you have the budget you know you you might want to explore it it's just an option that's there uh, but look if you hate cooking and you want healthy food and you want, you know, there, there is that option there. So what I would say to you is sit down and look at your food plan for the week. Actually look at your budget. How much are you spending a week on food? You know, how much of that is junk food? How much of that is treats? How much of that, you know, is it every week that you're having a takeaway? Is it every month? Look at ways of cutting it down. And the money that you spend on the takeaway, 
you know you can invest that into to maybe something a bit healthier um, so batch cook go to the library or google or whatever you know make the cooking session fun um, throw on your headphones throw on your tunes throw on some netflix throw on something to actually entertain you while you're doing it if you don't like cooking personally i love cooking and i find it very therapeutic again it's a habit so day six get a healthy eating plan together you will end up much better for it you'll feel less sluggish you'll feel more energized and it's the way forward and enjoy day six have fun